cardiopulmonary resuscitation that is CPR. Performing CPR properly can mean the difference between life and death. It is an emergency procedure done when someone's breathing or heartbeat has stopped. Look for a response. Is the victim conscious? Gently shake them and shout at them, as if you are trying to wake them up. If there is no response, get help. Call 911. If two people are present, one can begin CPR immediately while the other calls 911 for help. If only one person is present, however, that person should call 911 before beginning CPR if he has immediate access to a telephone or administer CPR for approximately 1 to 2 minutes and then call 911. Check the airway. Tilt their head back, open their mouth and very quickly remove any foreign matter, for example, chewing gum, vomit. Check for breathing. Look, listen, and feel for signs of breathing. If the person is breathing normally, roll them onto their side. If they are not breathing then start the CPR. Place the person on his back. Make them lie on the flat surface. Place the heel of one hand on the lower half of the person's breastbone. Place the other hand on top of your first hand and either grasp your own wrist or interlock your fingers, depending on what is comfortable for you. The depth of compression should be one-third of the chest depth of the person. Do 30 compressions at one time. Open the airway by tilting the head back and lifting their chin. Close their nostrils with your finger and thumb. Put your mouth over the person's mouth and blow into their mouth. Give two full breaths to the person, this is called rescue breathing. Make sure there is no air leak and the chest is rising and falling. If their chest does not rise and fall, check that you are tilting their head back, pinching their nostrils tightly and sealing your mouth to theirs. If still no rise of the chest, check their airway again for any obstruction. If you cannot get air into their lungs, go back to chest compressions. If there is an airway obstruction, compressions may help shift the object. Chest compressions are tiring and fatigue will affect the quality. If any other rescuers are available and willing to assist, rotate the person performing compressions every two minutes, even if you don't feel tired yet. If the patient shows signs of life that is if he starts breathing and pulse can be felt, then place the patient on his side. If not, then continue CPR. Continue CPR until the ambulance arrives. If available, implement the defibrillator as soon as possible. Please like, comment, share and subscribe the video. For more information, visit my website, www.jyotsnapande.com.np. Details are given below. Thank you for watching.